by SAE India. It's about 25 years old uh, association here. IEEE is an institution of electrical and electronics engineers and uh, IEEE IAS is a in, um, industry application society of IEEE. And uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Andy is uh, president of IEEE IAS. So uh, Dr. Nagarajan is a senior uh, vice president of uh, SAE India. So SA India and uh, IEEE IAS together signed MOU to conduct the, this event, ITAC. In fact, this event was conducted in US, in Europe, and Asia Pacific at the, at the third. We are the fourth, and we are the country, as a country we host. So this, we get the privilege of uh, country hosting a, a big technology event of uh, e-mobility. So first time we started this event in uh, 2015. At that time it is just we were starting the electric mobility. So then we are about selling uh, 400 uh, four-wheeler electric vehicles, mainly Mahindra was selling and uh, uh, Tata started to sell the vehicle. Today eight years the path is a really a very accelerated path. We have uh, 80,000 vehicles this year we, are, uh, we have sold. Uh, uh, four-wheeler uh, electrified vehicle and we are about uh, more than 10 models of uh, electric vehicles in uh, in India and two-wheeler we have several uh, startup companies and also the uh, the big uh, players of uh, uh, two-wheelers are uh, standing to uh, electric vehicles so this path has been uh, really uh, overwhelming and we have every two years this event also can grow uh, has grown uh, uh, slowly so from Chennai we moved to Pune, from Pune we moved to Bangalore and then moved to Delhi, then come back to Chennai. So the eight year of journey has been uh, through the growth of electric vehicles, we have grown. So it's not only the sales of electric vehicle, there is also the technology. So there is an in-house technology which has been developed in various companies including Renault Nissan, Mahindra and Tata. Maruti Suzuki and that is what the display which is happening today. So we have uh, 120 technical papers. Each company is sharing what they are doing, how the technology is uh, developed in the country and not only the Indian industry, also the global uh, global industry. So we have a lot of global papers coming that uh, Grebe shared uh, from his global experience and there are many such papers are going to be shared in the in the three days so industry is competing each other in terms of how to uh, increase our sales how to increase our market share but this is a very positive sign where we are sharing the technology what we are doing it is for the benefit of society so that is why SAEA IEEE is a, is a kind of a society which is helping the, the globally how we can uh, address uh, uh, our challenges like uh, uh, the greenhouse gases, how we can reduce, how we can support the climate change, how we can support the global warming which is going to happen, uh, which is forecasted to happen. So that is why we come together as an industry, experts, as uh, support functions and a lot of suppliers who are having a new technology areas, their domain expertise. So this forms this basis. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks a lot for having AVL here at the iTech. Uh, AVL is um, the uh, world leading privately owned engineering service provider. We are working on a global basis for technology on the propulsion but also on the vehicle side in order to move us forward. Um, ABL is very much committed to the CO2 reduction. We believe that we owe that to the entire planet, to all the societies. And what is so important for us is to participate in the, in the conferences where we exchange the knowledge and where we involve everybody around the globe um, 
in solving this very important uh, problem. We as an engineering service provider work with our valued customers um, on the solutions that help us to move into a sustainable future. So it's a great pleasure for ABL to be here and to participate in the learning and sharing experience of the knowledge. Thank you. So um, I am representing Renault Nissan Technical Center and uh, I would say we are one of the uh, sponsors of this event. Um, taking the context of Renault Nissan Technology, we have close to 10,000 people working in Chennai. Uh, we are very happy that we are one of the biggest uh, auto OEM tech center in, in India, not only in uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, many of our engineers are working for uh, supporting uh, global vehicle development in uh, car uh, electrification. And all the knowledge which we gain will help us to uh, make our uh, cars in India uh, competitive with the latest technology, meeting the customer expectations of India. And all this we cannot do by ourselves alone. The car companies have to work hand in hand with the uh, tire one suppliers, consultants like ABL, also startups, and also with universities and other academic institutions. And that is where this conference is very important to bring all the players, the car companies, the suppliers, the consultants, the startups, all in one umbrella to share our best practices and make India grow this journey of electrification. Already we are seeing a hockey stick type of growth of EV cars, but we have to make it more competitive and more adapted to Indian conditions, meeting the customer requirements. That's where our role in local technical center belongs. And I think this conference is very good for sharing practices and doing it better all together for the benefit of the society. I'm very thankful to SA India and IEEE for making this conference happen. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, uh, I'm here representing IEEE Industry Application Society. I'm the president of that society. Our global goal is to enable, enable research which benefits humanity uh, in a way that we are linking what's happening in the research field with what's actually happening in practice and the needs of industry. This is a great example of what we like to do globally, of being able to link different areas of need from industry and from research to enable the transition to electric vehicles. And I think I'm very happy to be here in India where clearly you're leading the way globally in this activity. Your global research centers here really are giving a great example to the rest of us of how to do business. And I'm really happy to be here to learn um, what all of you doing here? I'm very happy to partner with SAE India in the process. Friends, I'm uh, Shankar. I work at Mahindra. I'm the organizing committee chair for this iTech conference. So I want to highlight the theme of this conference, which is e Amrit, accelerating the transition to electric. And this is very important. There are two ways in which we can accelerate. One is by sharing the knowledge among all the experts. Other is through driving innovation towards sustainability. And that is precisely what we plan to do in these uh, three days. So you would see that you have the best of best experts across the globe, across the industry, from industry, academia, startups, government, everybody assembling here and sharing their best thoughts and working together to co-create a sustainable mobility for the future. I'm very happy that you're all here today. I'd encourage you to be there for all the three days, attend the sessions and take the best takeaways from here. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to represent the SA India as a senior vice president. Now, I think uh, Mr. Bala has already made a mention about what is SA India and we are the strategic partner of uh, SA International which is located in Pittsburgh and uh, which is about 100 plus years old and uh, we are 25 years old in India and uh, again if you look at SA India our objectives are dissemination of knowledge uh, for the mobility industry and uh, we have a uh, lot of programs organized for the benefit of the industry personnel as well those who are practicing in industries in terms of exchanging 
uh, cutting edge technologies like one such is iTech wherein we have brought in you know uh, experts from various streams like mechanical, mechatronics, electrical, electronics, IT, so on and so forth, so that you know we can have uh, a, a total understanding of the whole EV. Now, if you look at the EVs, you know probably you know it's more on the sensors, actuators, and electronics. That's what I always used to say that SA not only stands for Society of Automotive Engineers, but now it has become sensors, actuators, and electronics as well. So, uh, in addition to that, this is mainly for the practicing engineers and uh, for the first time SA India, last week at Bangalore, we organized a program called as a professional development program, which is focusing on Euro 7, which is likely to be implemented in Europe sometime during 25 or 26. And we thought that we should take the lead and so that the our industry experts are aware that we don't know when in India we are going to have the 07. So we thought that you know we should make the industry experts aware that okay these are the challenges that we need to look into for meeting the Euro 7 standards. And if coming to the student side, we have we are focusing more on the student side and organizing many events and especially for uh, enhancing the skills 